But yeah, it's going to be our our first big official event. Y'all are like the kickoff show of the kickoff shows. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's right. So, so Bloom, yeah. I definitely wanted to talk to you about that. Yeah, I love the album name. What's Thank the you. story there? Yeah, so um, I know you. We've known each other a long time in the music world, but um, I've been playing music since I was sixteen, um, and in some way, always with someone else. Mm -hmm. Um, which has been great. You know, Kevin and I were co-writers on our whole first album, and that was amazing. Um, And then once he kind of moved on to different things, I was like, okay, Beck, like, this is it. You know, and not to say I didn't have help from other people, but I felt like I really had to bloom. Like, I had to Mm. come into my own. So, like, almost all of the writing, there was a couple of songs that Kevin and I were working on, um, that are on there, but almost all the writing is from me. Um, I wrote most of the, I wrote all the lyrics and um, did, you know, the four chords on the songs and then the boys made it magic. Um, But it was really about coming into myself if I'm, you know, being honest and can just be that way for a minute. It was figuring out like what I could do. Yeah. How much can I do on my own? And I don't mean on my own, like I didn't need the band, but can I sit down with my Gibson and write a record? Um, mm, I get so, what you're saying. Yeah, it was a lot of growth for me. That album is a lot of growth for me. How long have you been working on the album for? Oh, there's one song on there I've been working on since 2019. Um, uh, <laughs> so, well, yeah, it doesn't know, seem that long ago, but it's, it's three years. It's three years. That's yeah. crazy to think about. So we, we had a a lot of transition in the band um, since like 2019 Um, went through a couple of different guitar players trying to find our fit Um, finally landed on Jordan um, and he has made me a better musician too I feel like I've learned a lot from everyone that's been in the band and they've taught me these things but um, he like makes me do it, you know, yeah. I'm like, I can't do that. He's like, yes, you can. <laughs> um, so it's like, I've got two Tims there, you know? So I think it was, um, probably we started writing the songs that are on there, like 2020. Uh, we wrote a lot through the pandemic. Um, but we recorded the album in two weekends. Um, wow. Last, the the yeah. whole album in two weeks. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, and we did it all live, you know, in, with, uh, Jim City studios in Jellicoe, Tennessee, Matt McQueen. He's amazing. Um, And that experience was so good for me, too, because I was there the whole time. Like, every part of that record, um, we all discussed and we all made those decisions. And it was just, like, you're listening to really so much of us on that record. Um, It was a great experience. But being able to get the right people, and it just fits. Like, Jake and Tim and Jordan... And Adam, Adam's from Harlan, plays harmonica. I feel like you already know Jake. Oh, so, yeah. um, but they just can look at each other, and it's just it just goes. Mm. So, I mean, that kind of when you get that, and I think you can hear it on the record too. Like you can hear their little runs, and they're they're all together. So, I'm proud of this record. Really proud of it. Y'all have an amazing band. Thank like you. every time I get a chance to see y'all live. It just, it rocks. Thank my, you. my favorite song uh, to see live, at least, is Letter. I love We're that We're going to play that at the album release. Yes. yes. <laughs> I love that song. It's To me, that is, oh, it just rocks. Yeah, it's it, it fun. pumps me up every single time. Yeah, that's a really fun song. So, like, is uh, this kind of a special time for y'all to release it? How did you, like, pick this release date? Oh, I wish it was, like, magical, but um, we were just waiting for the right time, waiting for the right time, waiting for the right time, and it never felt like the right time. I was like, it doesn't feel right. This is going on. That's going on. This is going on. And finally, I was like, we're just going to do it. Like, we're just going to do it. And I think it did work out perfectly, though, because it works out perfect with the Mountain Girl experience and the kickoffs and all that. But um, we just thought spring... Yeah, we just thought like spring. Oh, I didn't think about bloom, that. You know, so um, yeah, very cool. <laughs> yeah, that just hit me too. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, so that that was kind of our huh. thoughts. Yeah, neat. I feel like that was my blonde showing right there. I didn't even think about <laughs> no, spring. No, no, no. And you're you're getting it in the week of spring too, because yeah. I think spring's coming up this weekend. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah, so it's, cool. it's just a different experience for me. And I guess I'm almost like gushing over it because I'm just so proud of it. I'm so, 
I can't wait for everybody to hear it, but I'm also like, I hope nobody says anything bad because it's like my new baby, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, of course, I can take the criticism, but I'm just so happy with it. I I'm, awesome. I'm just love it. I like the album cover, too. Uh, did you design no, that? No, Matt who, Bartley. Who so, do you know Matt Bartley from Sacred oh, yeah, Mountain? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 I, um, I love the the tattoo work he did a few years ago about, you know, the, the Nazi stuff and all that. That was yes. such an awesome thing he'd done. So Shout out to Matt. Matt You're and awesome. Jordan are like best friends. Um, and Matt and Tim had worked together years ago. And then just through our, you know, everybody in that band is so heavily tattooed in our band. <laughs> it's just the, Does Jake have tattoos? Jake, Jake is the only one. Okay. Um, I'll I would love for you to ask Jake his thoughts on tattoos off air, but it's it's a hilarious <laughs> argument he has about it. But um, so we all know Matt, but Matt and Jordan were talking, and I was like, you know what, Matt would make me so happy if you would just like listen to this record, just listen to it, and then just tell me what you think, like draw me something. Yeah. Oh wow! And so, so he, he drew that. Yeah, that's his artwork. That's his original artwork. I thought that was just like a picture of a rose. No, Matt drew that. That's he. He that listened to the record so and drew that. So, yeah. I, I think I need to clarify what I said about him too. I, probably sounds bad to some folks out there that don't know. Oh, the, his the, project. The background. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, oh, the Nazi stuff. He's not tattooing Nazi stuff. He, <laughs> he, he's tattoo. He was tattooing over Nazi stuff. Anybody yeah. who had any type of like you know, a racist tattoos. Yeah, or, 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 or any like type that. of hate filled imagery yeah. that was a tattoo on their body. For free, he would tattoo over wow. it or make it, you know, something else. Cooler. He's an awesome human. And yet, like, in the work, like, he would post them too, like the transformations. And yeah. he, he never released anybody's identity or anything like that. No pictures of faces or anything. It was all confidential. And it was amazing artwork that he turned a, a hate filled image into. Like, he turned mm. a hate filled image into something so beautiful. Yeah. And I had him on the podcast. We were talking about it. If anybody wants to check out that episode he explains it a lot better than i am right now he's just but the coolest Matt is person awesome that's why he fits in so well with us it's like <laughs> i tell him all the time like he's just part of our band he's he's the coolest person